Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to my room. So I'm actually out of town right now on vacation, so I recorded this in advance. So I'm sorry if it's already old news, but I wanted to maintain a consistent upload schedule so you guys aren't feeding for your favorite conservative anime commentator. How many political commentators are isekai from the anime universe, motherfucker? Fucking zero! I'm Ricky dominating Martin. this niche! Ricky I'm dominating Ricky this Martin. niche! Anyways, moving on. Have you guys heard of this Dylan Mulvaney person? I don't know if you have. I, you might have missed him. He does have a tendency to fly under the radar. I don't think he likes having too much attention on him. But anyways, Dylan Dylan is a flaming homosexual performer who has been on game shows, in productions, and on social media for a while now. Hello, would you like one too? There you go. Oh, oh my god, I'm sorry, oh my god, it's coming to me! <laughs> <laughs> Eat him! Eat him! Do it! Here, take my bread, take it! Take it! Take my bread! <laughs> Why is he actually kind of funny? <laughs> like, why is it? I like him better as a dude. But about a year ago, during a comedy skit that was very clearly a comedy skit, Dylan dressed as a girl, announced his day one of girlhood, and then rambled off borderline offensive female stereotypes that were actually kind of funny. So I got copyright claim because of the song he has in the background of this video, so thanks, Dylan. Anyways, he just says, First day of being a girl, and I've already cried three times. I wrote a scathing email that I didn't send, and when someone asked me how I was doing, I said, that I was fine when <clears throat> I wasn't fine. <laughs> I wasn't fine at all. <laughs> I'm such a bitch. <laughs> and I would still think it's funny, not for the fact that he is not joking anymore. He continually makes fun of women by claiming to be one and parading around as his walking stereotype. But he has so much gay boy energy that I can't take him seriously as a woman. Even in his woman face getup, he still looks like a little gay boy. Well, I mean, now he looks like an alien. Like if the gray is put on a red dress, you got Dylan Mulvaney. The thing that always bothered me about Dylan Mulvaney is that he's the face of the trans corporate movement, but he doesn't call himself a woman. He calls himself a girl, which is beyond creepy and pedophilic. I am Eloise. I am six. I'm a city child. I live at the Plaza Hotel, which is huge and wonderful and trace elegant, especially at Christmas time. He went on to an Ulta sponsored talk panel and quite literally mansplained what it means to be a woman. Like, look at this dude's beard, bro. His beard is as thick as Matt's, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, two men who have never and will never experience womanhood are explaining to what I assume is a mostly female audience the female experience, and it's the most misogynist thing I've ever seen. I don't understand how we can get canceled for a sexist joke. I don't understand how women can get us fired from the corporate office, but then you look at Dylan Mulvaney's Nike ad and go, yeah, that's totally how I work out. Yep, that's how I move. Stiff, robotic, and looking like an NPC from the Lego Movie franchise. Yep, carry on, madam, good on ya. No, this is the most misogynistic thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, Eminem said he was gonna kill his ex-wife? Well, let's cancel that piece of shit. Oh, uh, Dylan Mulvaney is playing up the dumb woman stereotype and making money off of it? He's so precious. What kind of world do we live in, bro? Where trans people are just floating above the rest of us. Laws of society don't affect them in any way whatsoever. The angry mob that attacked Riley Gaines was praised by their school. No action taken by the mob at all, dude. The Nashville shooter was being called the seventh victim in her own shooting. People cared more about her than the dead fucking children. Dylan Mulvaney is just another example of trans people being in a protected class. No one else could spend an entire year doing something so blatantly misogynist and get away with it. Not a single group. Now, if it wasn't bad enough that Dylan is walking around in woman face pretending to be the stereotypical dumb bitch glorifying transitioning in the most performative way on his social media, pretending that facial feminization surgery is the best thing since sliced bread, if it wasn't bad enough that he met the president to advocate cash training children or put on a Disney musical production to celebrate a whole year of misogyny, the new vice president of Bud Light proved to be completely disconnected from their consumer base and in their ridiculous attempt to rebrand by appealing to a younger generation and quote, be more inclusive, they put Dylan on a can of Bud Light and he, yet again, made a super Super misogynist ad campaign for them where he played up the dumb woman role. Check it out. Hi. Impressive carrying skills, right? I got some Bud Lights for us. So, I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness, and I thought we were all just having a hectic month, but it turns out it has something to do with sports. And I'm not sure exactly which sport, but either way, it's a cause to celebrate. Shit, I didn't even know aliens could drink water. This month, I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood, and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. Check out my Instagram story to see how you can enjoy March Madness with Bud Light and maybe win some money too. Love ya! Ya look! 
fucking goofy. <laughs> my mom's been a female for 60 years, bro. Where's her corporate sponsorship? Why aren't you putting my wife's face on a beer can? Why does Dylan Mulvaney get to steal sponsorships from women? Remember, ladies, you and your vaginas are fucking worthless. Why would I pay you when I could just get one of the gays to be a better you than you? <laughs> Eat shit and die, you bunch of womb havers. Your feminine experience means nothing. What? You need maternity leave? Fired. Oh, we have women who can't even get pregnant. What do we need you for? See what I mean? Every single woman on the entire planet should be pissed off at what's happening with the trans movement. You should all be as pissed off as Kid Rock. Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. Let me uh, say something to all you and be as clear and concise as possible. Fuck Bud Light and fuck Anheuser-Busch. Have a terrific day. I almost called him Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, on top of being a misogynist, walking around a woman face and being nothing more than a corporate sponsored insult, he's also a raging narcissist who thinks he could steal a man. It's day 335 of being a girl and I wanted to go on record to say that this might be the hottest I've ever looked and will ever look in my lifetime. And I'm making this video so that in thousands of years, there will be evidence. Is it the dress? It could be the dress. It, it, is it the makeup? Or is it the hair? Because I think it's the extensions. And when I have extensions in, I don't know my name. I don't know where I live. I just know that I love these. And I know that I look like I could steal a husband. But I want to promise you, look me in the eyes. I want to promise you that I would never do that to you. Yeah, my husband doesn't like This is extra hilarious because Dylan has been complaining about not getting kissed as a girl yet because he quote, looks in the mirror and says this is a person who should not be single. And I don't think getting kissed is gonna happen, Dylan, unless you get with one of these made up non-binaries. But if you're looking for a man, good luck. You don't look feminine enough to attract a straight man, especially if you still have your penis. And you're not gonna attract a gay man looking like a feminine extraterrestrial. Gay guys want gay guys. And you're very much trying to be a straight girl. You look fucking weird, okay? You look Look weird. But since we've already established that Dylan Mulvaney is a raging narcissistic flamboyantly gay theater geek who has been addicted to the spotlight since high school but can't seem to maintain any relevance, I can only conclude that he sold his soul to the entertainment industry and transitioning was part of the contract. It would explain why he's getting all these fame and fortune and all these sponsorships seemingly out of nowhere. Every company is backing him. He's getting all of this money. Everyone knows who he is. He's incredibly famous in all parts of the internet, but you can't get a date, Dylan? That's interesting. That must be the cost of your soul. So you get all this money and fame, you get to meet the president, but you're so fake that no one wants you and no one will ever love you. No one but these corporations who only see you as an expendable prop. And once you've outlived your usefulness to these soulless corporations, they'll just toss you into the gutters of New York City where you'll live out the rest of your unnatural life by yourself. So I hope your soul was worth the exchange. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll be back on my bullshit next weekend. So don't go nowhere unless you want to go to my music channel at Nefarious Music to check out some songs that I make in between projects and I'll see you in the next video. I've been riding around town, blowing loud with the window down. Oh shit. New phone, who this? I'm just steady winning. You can't even hurt my feelings, homie. Oh shit. New phone, who this? You can't ever slow me. Half of y'all don't even know me, homie. Oh shit. New phone, who this? Don't you dare try to call me because I'm introverted, homie. Better text me that shit. New phone, who